Please be sure to check out our website, OutdoorDating.com. It's the hottest thing since internal combustion. Alright, so check it out. The Navy recently tested a prototypical railgun it recently built. It's a large-scale railgun intended to be used on land strike ships. For those of you who don't know what a railgun is, it's a gun, a weapon that instead of using gunpowder or any other kind of chemical percussion, uses electromagnetic propulsion to shoot the projectile out of the barrel at an insanely high velocity. The muzzle velocity of this recently tested weapon is at Mach 7, and its impact velocity is Mach 5. Just imagine being in a building that has been hit by a projectile moving at five times the speed of sound. Uh, the main advantage of such a weapon system is that it would, in fact, render uh, conventional shells obsolete. The impact energy from such a speed alone simply makes explosives unnecessary. It, it hits it and it goes boom because it's going so fast. In other news, the largest particle accelerator in history, the Large Hadron Collider, is nearing its completion near Geneva in Switzerland. It's about 16 miles in circumference and is going to be operational in May of this year. Particle accelerators of this sort work by electromagnetically propelling two particles in opposite directions through a circular tunnel. The collision of these particles releases other particles and energy which gives scientists an opportunity to examine theories regarding the functionality of subquantum reaction. The safety concerns, while overwhelmingly slim, do point to two potential doomsday scenarios. The first being the accidental synthesis of what are called micro-black holes, which could accumulate and consume the Earth. Uh, the second involves accidental synthesis of particles known as strangelets, which could trigger an uncontrollable fusion process which would consume and convert every atomic nucleus on the planet. And that's all the worthless news we have for you today. Why don't you go check out the uh, new Tesla Roadster. It does 0 to 60 in like 4.5 seconds. Definitely the fastest way to stop pollution.